Hello, little viewers and little viewers. I today, I'm doing so far, Scott Clemens must die. This is the fourth episode of the fifth season. And this episode has, uh, Eric Carvin as most iconic. Anyway, in this, Eric has a match with, uh, Scott Tiedemann, who is a 15 year old, and they say he's in the 8th or 9th grade, but the one thing, cause I did from the 9th, the other thing, he's from the 8th, and so on. Anyway, at the beginning of the episode, the camera was like, quote, the bus stop where Star, Cat, uh, Stan and Kenny are waiting. And he said he's finally matured because he has, uh, body hair. I'm not gonna say what type of hair it is, because I don't think YouTube would let me, but, yeah. And when you ask someone if you want to, if they want to see it, uh, here's all them, it and then pass. And they try to explain, like, they don't sell it, they, uh, you know, if you don't sell the body hair, you, uh, grow it. And Eric is just really, really angry. And he tried getting his money back, but Scott just keeps on tricking him in, uh, out tricking the uh, Eric. At one moment, at one point, he, uh, tends to be uh, a member from the IRS. But uh, Scott, they would tell you that that blew his body hair off his face. And he kind of tricked Eric by uh, saying again for $20 because he has not same. But Eric said about $6 uh, and some cents. And Eric just took home the body hair. And Kyle just out there to just go over, but Eric can't just get madder and madder. And Scott actually tricked Eric. The thing is that a cattle was in South Body Hair for a million dollars in somewhere else, I'll fact. I don't I can't remember where, but you need to take a bus to it. And when they get there, this guy getting a box full of body hairs. And Cameron just goes back to Scott's house and they just gives up. He doesn't care anymore. And does the same about that. Grandmother says he needs that money to, for his out for operation. Uh, so I said, give it to him. But, he needs to beg for it. And there it goes. And then Scott says that's the phase of piggy and things from about that being piggy. And Scott says that he doesn't really care about the money because he's a parent in a $50 allowance and burns it right for there. Um that's what's big that's what's uh breaks hair a little bit. So that's all the guys in the in the town, city, I don't know what fabric is. He comes to his house and has a plan of getting a, a horse who has got uh wiener off. I don't know if wiener is a good thing. They I don't do it anymore, but yeah. um, nobody really thinks it's a good idea, but they're left. And try to get the horse to fight off as dummies, you know. And Zimbo and Ned come along and the other thing they go out all wrong, he think about hunt, like a hunter and exploit uh Scott's weakness. So this uh count as uh, stake out Scott's house and Eric to uh binoculars to see what Scott got like and turns out he's a big fan of Radiohead. Are they still around, by the way? I don't even hear anything. So, he just had right stuff to this, uh, screening of a Radiohead, uh, interview, where he dubbed over voices, saying that Scott isn't really that cool. And when Scott goes off, Eric can stop crying. The Scott just played the video he made when, uh, Captain was, uh, begging for his money and Sing the, the pig song. And everybody just started laughing. And Kenny actually died of laughter. Oh, okay. Of all the times Kenny died, that just 
that, that would make no sense. Anyway, during the night in the corner storm, having the success, turns off his magnum opus of revenge for Scott. And he probably gets Sam and Kyle to help. And he said to give him two dollars to do it. And Billy's plan is uh, a combination of his last few plans. So to get Radiohead here, so they can watch uh, Stock and Red uh, King spin off. Yeah. And some kind of scene to be on with it. The turn out they just like, just like tell Scott what uh, Eric is doing. So he can outrank him, or to get him back. Oh yeah, and throughout the uh, Eric's on a shitty carnival to get their stuff there and everybody else. Um, yeah, so I can tell my dad about the, the, the horse. And um, he's up, so I'm get shitty for the carnival. And um, put a lot of people, a lot of guys, uh, body hair in it. So when Eric eats it, he's gonna be in that. And everybody's always up, including the chef and that. And Karen tries to get Scott on the dead spread wheel, but then he walks. Oh yeah, and then for that, uh, that's so cold play, not cold play, uh, Radiohead, getting a letter from Carmen saying that Scott has a uh, cancer of the bomb, and that's when he comes to the carnival. And they try to go. Anyway, uh, Carmen and Scott, they're just doing the, the shitty cook, cook off, tasting sort of the, uh, shitties. And when Scott thinks he's, that Eric is actually taking his city, it turns out that's taking steps, but he, that Carol that he knew that Sam and Kyle would betray him, and that tell Scott what's happening, and knowing that Scott didn't want to go to the, the farm, he gets the horse by himself, to the fear of, you know, and then his parents, and it turns out that the farmer there is, uh, very, uh, Trigger happy when there's uh, intruders on his land, so he shot Scott's parents. And uh, well, uh, the farmer can a report to uh, after Officer Bar Brady, Kyle as he took uh, 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 Captain, as he took uh, the bodies of Mr. and Mrs. Tenement. And as he said that uh, a few nights, on a night that the hacksaw, he uh, made the Scott's parents in the city. And made me eat, he had made Scott eat them. Yeah! And, and he thought that Peg was being his, uh, stepmother or half-mother. Yeah, her film was bad. And then there was Scott just crying. Cold play, he told the come a cry baby and I didn't think that she, he got that cool. And just a shitty quiet in Harry and Carl saying that maybe they shouldn't uh, make the Carmen that uh, uh, angry anymore. Uh, Carmen just said uh, reticent over uh, Scott's uh, uh, misery and you can hear they how nice they are and stuff like that and there's that uh, and with Carmen doing a pork and pig impression. You're saying that, 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 that's all folks and like that. This is just a great episode of the and it not be the best part. I don't think Eric has been that iconic in a while. I just see Daniel Man being tortured and tricked by Scott with this crazy and how angry he was getting. It's just it was fantastic. I don't know why they never go or they go this iconic with Eric. Uh, anymore. I think the last thing went, went like, something like this was in a uh, pass over the zoo or something. I don't even know. But it was a great episode of one of the best folks in, on the current And next time, uh, after the uh, South Park failed to present the sets, the kid in school after tell Carmen to get rid of his toys. So, Good, but not in a way that you think. And there's the strike. They're being led 
by uh, Butter and uh, Jimmy. And the cops are featuring a sort of like concert or something or whatever. But yeah, it's still a good episode. It's still a good episode. And until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with my all my other ones with your friends, family, neighbors, all the people that have been there. I don't know. And until next time, have a good see you guys.